you know, there's certain career fields, military, police, fire, and you go through certain things, you experience stuff that you never, you know, thought you'd see. And sometimes there are things that are hard to handle. You never know how, like, you're gonna respond to, if you got shot at, like, you know, you could be the strongest guy here in the United States and then you could just freeze. My son, he was in the Air Force and he had spent over a year in Iraq attached to an army unit. And when he came home, there was such a difference in him. The boy that I, you know, sent to the military that was so full of life and had this incredible zest for living just wasn't there. Some wounds that you can't see. You know, you can see a person walking down the street, you have no idea what they've been through. I got out in 2009, 2010, my unit went to Marja, Afghanistan, and we lost 17 guys. You think about that, and you're like, man, if I stayed in, could I have changed something? Could I have done something different? Could I have been a leader? I mean, that puts you into depression. Um, and from depression, it goes to, you know, to alcohol or to drugs and then to suicide. I think the future has to do with people being willing to have the hard conversations about suicide, about um, post-traumatic stress awareness, about gratitude for service. Everybody knows somebody right now. It's gonna be part of this generation. We all know somebody who was over in Afghanistan or Iraq. It was a lot of things at once that came crashing down. And I, you know, I just chose to drink and took over. It wasn't until three years ago I got help. And it was a cop actually showed up at my house. Um, I was ready to, to kill myself and he brought me to the hospital. And I do think that the biggest problem is, is the asking for help. And I think, too, for a lot of people that they just feel like they're supposed to just suck it up. They are warriors. They are our heroes. Um, without them doing what they did, I could have never done what I did. We want them to know we're here for them. Like, they were there for us, now we're here for them. And show them that there is, you know, life after the military, that you can adapt to civilian life, you can move on. Just try and encourage people to wait one more day, last one more day, get through the day. Even if you think there's not help out there, or even if you think there is no hope, there is always hope. It's just a little bit of time. That's all it is, it's some time. Sometimes these guys just want an ear, a handshake, a hug. And nobody's too tough for a hug, nobody's too tough for a tear, nobody's too tough for a cry. And once we get past all of that, now we can get on to how can I help? What can I be a part of? What do you got going on?